A few weeks ago, I was in Washington State visiting my sister, Anne Marie. She's my younger sister, and she has six children. And uh, I was in her bathroom, and I was brushing my teeth, and I, was, I opened the drawer, and there's this big ball of dental floss, and a big ball. And I look at it, and I'm like, what's this? So when I was done, I took it out to her, and I showed it to her, and she goes, oh, one of the kids must have pulled all of that dental floss out, you know, and just made this big ball, but I'm too cheap to throw it away, so we're saving this. And uh, it really struck me how in order to get good use out of something, you have to know what it's for. So a two-year-old doesn't know what the dental floss is for. They just pull it out and pull it out and pull it out. They don't know what it's for. They don't know how to get good use out of it. And this is true with all different aspects of our life. You know, if it's, uh, you know, dental floss or a tool or uh, anything that we use in life, to get the best use, you have to know what it's for. And we do that kind of instinctively. We figure that out. But then something that's more difficult is uh, our human life. What is, my, what is my life for? Is it for something? You know, I know what a hammer is for. I know what dental floss is for. I know what all of these different tools, I know what they are for. And, and that makes them useful. But my human life, if I don't know what it's for, I'm going to have a lot of sorrow, a lot of sadness. And so the Lord, He wants to instruct us. He wants to form our hearts, to shape us. And in, in that way, we'll know what our human life is for. And until we come to grasp with that, until we understand the beauty of our human life, that we're made for God, that we're made to love God, to love our neighbor, until we see that clearly, we'll never be able to enjoy our life. So the joy of our human life is to know the plan. The plan is to love God with all of our heart, soul, and strength, and to love our neighbor as ourselves.